the one I sent the original agenda. Yes. So don't say anything. No. Hey, can you hear? I can. Okay. Good morning. We're going to call this meeting to order. Uh, our chairperson is on the phone with us today with our meeting, Ms. Pat Hill. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm doing better. I hope to be back soon. All right. Our agenda here that I'm going to do the prayer and Commissioner Payne is going to do the pledge. Oh, gracious Father, we come now, first of all, say thank you. Thank you again for letting us be alive today. Thank you again for this county, this state, this nation. We're praying for this commission here today, Lord, that we'll do the things that's in the best interest of our voters as well as our people and this county. Bless like only you can do. Bless each and every one of us, Miss Pat, as she begins to heal as well, and our attorney, our circuit clerk, and all of the commissioners, one, two, three, and four, and five. Bless like only you can do, and Jesus name amen. amen amen attention salute pledge I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for <coughs> all We're down to number four on the agenda. I, I'm kind of like Miss Helen on today. I have cotton in my ears, sinus is going crazy. Couldn't speak to yesterday evening late, so therefore everybody's gonna have to speak loud. Cotton is in the ear to be able to hear everybody. Uh, so it's now time for approval of our January 10th, 23, 23 minutes. I'm sure all of you have received yours, and if you've read over my- I move it for your minutes be approved. Second it. In motion properly by Commissioner uh, Dan, second by Commissioner Payne, that we accept these minutes. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh -huh. Motion carried. Down to number five, Ms. Uh, Ray's remarks. Okay, you've all been, um, well, got it. Helen has been handed the um, VR001 report and look and see how many. 186. 186 moves within Madison County. Um, this since our last meeting. General update, um, the qualification period has ended. It ended on February the 1st and we have approximately 36, 37 candidates for, for, that's for the county. That is for the county, that does not include our state um, the candidates. And, um, wanted to tell you too that I found out yesterday the election commissioners will not be on the ballot for the primary they will be on the ballot for the general mm -hmm. just wanted to give you that update right okay and that's all that I have as of right now unless you have any questions for me any questions for Miss Ray nope okay thank you mm -hmm. seeing none thank you Miss Ray for that general update we're going to continue to move uh, forward on number six it's now time for our request for our purges by district if we will district one 13 district two 20 district three 16 13. district four 19 district five has 28 these are particular purges is for the dates of 1 3 2023 to 131 2023 can I get a motion to entertain to accept it so moved Second. In motion by Commissioner Payne, second by Commissioner Dickerson that we accept these purges. Any questions? All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh -huh. All unanimous. Uh, number seven, we have request for inactive for the same dates, so 1 3 2023 to 131 23, District 1. 13. District 2. 9. District 3. 7. District 4. 5. District 5 has 15. I entertain a motion to accept these particular uh, inactive purges. So moved. Can I get a second? Second. In motion by Commissioner Payne, second by Commissioner Dickerson, we accept these inactive. All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Do we have any old business we need to entertain? Seeing none. Down to new business, we have Mr. Chairman, I wonder, uh, let me raise something that, so back that however you want to handle this. You know, I wanted to discuss litigation. If you want to do that in old business, we can do that. Or if you want to do that during my comments, that's fine. I'm going to, I'm going to call for your executive session when all the commissions make their uh, comments. Okay. Then we'll go there. That way we won't have to do them, but come back up in adjourn. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. okay. Uh, moving on to new business, we have a new business approval for District 4. Ms. Elizabeth M. Watts is a permanent absentee. We'll yield to Mr. Dickinson for that. I took a look at the uh, at Mrs. Watts's request. All the proper documentation is there. I recommend that it be approved. I move to approve. He made the recommendation to approve. I just need a second. Second. Okay. In motion by Commissioner Dickinson and second by Commissioner Payne that we do make Miss Elizabeth Watts a permanent absentee. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Down to number 10, deadline for party contracts. We'll yield to Mr. Spence to kind of give us a little bit heads up on that. Sure. Um, you know, we, I don't know that we have a deadline, you know, for party contracts. The, the parties, you know, in charge of their primary, it's their primary, and they can contract with us to do the whole thing or to do part of it or none of it. So, um, those have been long discussions in, over the years, you know, and take time. And so I'll just um, get your feedback um, on how you want to move forward. I'd gotten some input from the, the Republican Party that they want us to do all of the primary. Um, that very, they've said that very strongly. Okay. Um, and uh, you guys have probably heard that too. I haven't talked with uh, my friend Howard Brown that I went to college with, um, so I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I think that um, he hasn't reached out to me. And he's, he's probably thinking that he wants to do it like was done last time is my guess. So I'll just mention both those things to you and let you think about it and you let me, you tell me, you know, how you want to move forward in our talks with them. I, do it. Go ahead. I, I have a comment on this and you can agree or disagree. We would be better served as a commission and I understand that we have to do as the law directs. There's no question about that. But in many counties, the election commission is with the consent of the parties and the consent of the cities running the elections because we're the people that have the experience. We have the contracts, uh, contacts with the poll workers. We have the experience <coughs> with the machines. I think rather than sit here and wait for the same kind of discussions that we end up having very close to the election on this topic, we ought to take the bull by the horns and say proactively, yes, we will run this election, and here is the contract that we propose. And then let them reject it or accept it. Hopefully they'll accept it because everybody on this commission knows that in reality we do much of the work in these elections. And we might just as well do it all, and if we make mistakes, we make mistakes. We'll take a responsibility for it. But it's time to start moving forward and making sure our elections be everything that they ought to be. Because if the election does not go well, the public doesn't care whether it was run by us or it was run by the parties. We're gonna get the blame. So, and if we're gonna get the blame, we might just as well take the responsibility and do everything we can to make it right. I uh, have a response to that. I, uh, I agree with you, Dan. Um, and my preference for this commission would be that the contract be either we run all of the election or none of it, but at the very minimum, the contracts for both parties, I think, needs to be identical. Exactly. It always Co is. Totally agree. Okay. Hearing, hearing that, Miss Pat, you have any comments on that? I feel the same thing, all or nothing. I agree, Pat, all or nothing. Okay. 
Well, first of all, I, I, I've heard Mr. Dan, but one of the things has to happen is because it's a primary, the parties have to reach out. It's not our job to go to them. That's what I'm saying. Their okay. job is to come to us. That's first thing first. And the second part of it is, I think, Mr. Spence, we ought to do what we did before, bring both party chairs here and hear from them on what it is they want to do, and then we can make our decision from that standpoint. Because you're going to have to convince both parties to do the same, whatever you do. Right. They've got to be convinced to do the same. And then we operate based on what they say. What happens if one party doesn't agree for us to do it and one does? <laughs> How do we handle that, Leroy? You got to go back to what what you're going to do. You can't do one for, for right. the other I that know. you don't do for the other because now what that does it puts us at the courthouse That's for right. one party, not both parties. It was yes, we've done that before. Yes. What? <laughs> it's work. not nice. Didn't work. No. Okay. All good input, and I think um, you know. Just to be clear, the Republican Party has come to us and said, "Want you to do all of it?" That's out there. Right. Um, be thinking about if the Democrats have the same position they've had in the past. They want to do some of it. They want us to do this part. And so, be thinking about that. There's been some complications with that. That's not as easy as it sounds. No, and no, it's, it's and not. And then, and then, the no. if they're you know, it's just it's you know the complications of it. And I hear your point about contract for both parties, and the Republicans will be like, "Well, we don't want to agree to that. We want y'all to do all of it." So it's it's we know the issues of kind of just. I mean, the good thing is we have a little bit more time. The last time the yeah. primary was in yeah. March, and so we can talk. That's it. why we had to decide early. And this time it's in August, which is good. And we all want the same thing: good elections for the voters. It is interesting. The, you know, the primary is in August, and then we turn around and have the the general in November. To your point. Commissioner Dickinson. Um, so we're those are our poll workers six weeks later, basically. Right. And so I'll I'll get in touch with the parties and get the conversation going and invite them here to meet with y'all, and we can work it out. Um, I was going to tell you in my report. I think for the March meeting, I've I don't have a judge set a trial on the coast. I've got to be at, and I didn't have any discretion over that, so I won't be here. But um, and I wish I could be for that discussion. Maybe I can. Maybe I can call in. But should I have them? Should I have them come to the March meeting? Yeah. Not if you can't be here. Yeah, I, yeah, I think no. you need to be uh, okay. here for that. I, I, I'm I'm going to be in Africa. I may or may not make it to the March meeting. Okay. Depends well, on your train. We reset the date. Okay. We said to April. April. Okay. We'll, we'll go for April. And in the meantime, you know, it won't be like two months go by. I'll be. Um, talking with the parties and talking with you and try to try to um work on some consensus um beforehand so we'll we won't just lose too much but <laughs> i i hear every one of you and what you're saying and uh um i'm a, you know the, la this le the last elections last year you know were really good i think we have a good working relationship you know with the, the party chairman and right. um this this will be a good election year and we'll just need to to work through it well, I think we're going to get there, and the reason so, we've got this for where we actually got them all to agree that we do everything on one machine, and that is really one of the reasons you've got to have both of them on the same yeah. uh, uh, a scale or line because we're doing it now. Everything is done, both parties on one machine, so they've got to be together on this because everything is done in unison. It's not done separate. They don't have their separate machines anymore right. and separate tablets. So everything is one. So all of them needs to be close together on this thing. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Can but I? we do want to convey to them, subject to their desires, we understand that it's got to be something that they, they favor and, and want to happen, that we wish to do it for them, if it's their desire. Right. I, I, I need Diane, to. Diane, when would you be back? I think I'll make the March 8th meeting. It's, uh, my plane arrives in Washington on, uh, on the Sunday night. And so, you know, I, I have to, you know, see my, my son up in the Washington area. And then it takes about a day, day and a half to drive down. So I think I'll be back in March 8th. Yeah, but, but, but Spence won't. What? But, Spence but Spence won't be here, so it doesn't Spence matter. Won't so be it doesn't here. matter. But yeah. 
what if we moved it to the next week though would you be available then Sam? absolutely yes that would be very i helpful. would not be available then pat miss larvin says I'm she sorry. won't be available then Who? it's best going to be april it's best just to leave it april yeah and yeah. I'll, I'll try to get here the eighth i'll, I'll do the best i can our meeting in april like, i think they will um they, every other time we've asked them to come, they have, and we've done meetings that have gone well. So that'd be that'd be good. And, I mean, um, you're going to reach out to them, but at the same time, if they come in April, we can ration this out and okay. be done with it. Yeah. I think that's yeah. I grew that vision of going forward. Basically, I'll I'll try to get everybody to agree on what everybody can agree on, and then just I'm sure there'll be some remaining issues or you know that. I'll, that will be teed up for you and everybody can talk about it that day and we can res resolve what y'all want to agree to and it's a contract you have to agree to it's right right so i mean right. it's what the commission's right wants to do correct i do i do need to uh, just y'all keep this in mind that absentee voting starts june the 24th and ballots will have to be ordered before then so if that comes mm. into play I mean, if we oh, did it in April, to. won't that get you plenty yes, of time? Yes, yes. I'm just if they making, agree in April. If they agree in April, but it doesn't need to be like a go back and forth. Spence, are you back going to be back hard. later in that week of the 8th? Uh, yes. Do we have the option to move the, the meeting to, say, Thursday? I can't do Thursday. I, it's, um, I, I say yes. I I, I'm, the, the judge told me to block that week out, and so... I, should, I probably shouldn't have said yes. I've got to, I've got to hold that week, I, okay. you know, so... I might be back, but I might I might not. I can't. Yeah. Look like our meeting is April the 12th, so that's going to give us uh -huh. good timing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you what. Well, I feel I'll, like it'd be easier, though, y'all, if we went ahead and met in March, just pick a different day if we can get the boardroom. Because you always have uh, the permanent absentees and other business, and I feel like things may come up between today and that date. Uh, that we need to address towards the election. And no, so I'm I'm not to meet in March. No, no, no. We're not saying not meet in March. We're just saying the the uh, parties, Miss Pat, not to meet in April. Let's see. It, we're not talking about not meeting ourselves. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I so y'all still meet March eighth? Okay, sorry. No, no, yeah, no. we're still uh, going to meet. In March. We're still going to meet in March. The commission is. Okay, and then we'll just right. I'll invite I'll invite the parties to come April twelfth. And we invite the parties to come on April the twelfth. And I'll and I'll call. Hopefully, I can call in March eighth and give you an update. Right. And and I'll be I'll be emailing you updates too. So I'll be at. This will be a priority. We'll, we'll actively engage on you, this to Dan's point. You're gonna be out in March, right, Ms. Dan? Pardon? You're gonna be out in March, right? That's what you're saying. I think I think I can make it here. No, I don't know. Saying. That's what your potentials are right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So no, we we talking about meeting with whomever. On on March, which if Mr. Dan be out, we still gonna have a quorum. Yeah, we still yeah. have another. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right, that sounds good. Okay. 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 All right, Mr. Spence, we down to you anyway. Comments? Okay. Um, let me see if there's anything on my list that's not executive session. Um, I think. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I mean, if you want to hold everything to executive, we fine. Well. Uh, Mar yeah, March 8th, they've got that trial. I'll probably call in, I hope. And then I did have an item for executive session that involves okay. litigation. And so mm -hmm. if I could have a motion, if y'all want to make I, a motion to go. I move we uh, adjourn to a uh, Hold on. Let's do our, Wait a minute. I wanted to do our, our comments, and then we're going to okay. come back. That way sure. we'll just adjourn right yep. behind. Oh, you know what? You want to give us your bill? Oh, that's now? right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. You want to get Spence paid. didn't want to get paid this month. <laughs> now you spoiled it. We were trying to get back on budget. <laughs> Mr. Dan said we was trying to edge you out, Mr. Spence. So, so you like to get edged out. Thank you. Thanks, Spence. I move that we pay Spence. Second. In motion. Wait prop. A oh, wait a minute. What did we just vote on? The pay spent. Yeah, yeah, okay. I haven't motion. voted yet. Uh, Commissioner Payne made a motion to uh, to pay Mr. Spence. Mr. Dan seconded it. Got it. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried, Mr. Spence. Any uh, comments from our commissioner, District 1? None. 
District 2. None. District 3, Ms. Pat. None. District 4. Just a, just a brief thing. I think we should try to do a session sometime in the next couple of months using the Voluti program for our poll managers and also for people that we think might become future poll managers. And we need to start thinking about that and figure out what we have to do to get the Board of Supervisors to pay for it. What, Has, what, can you spell that for me? D-O-L-U-T-I. This is the state uh, Secretary of State's Education Training Program. It's a computer oh. program. I know previously it had not been updated to reflect what we do in our county. Has it been? Because I worry about confusion there. I don't. But, you know, I, to, the way I think of thinking about it, we need to be present and just, you know, instruct them. But we can't just keep delaying and delaying doing this. Uh, we've got to make some progress on it. Well, with that particular part, Mr. Dan, it's really for the general election, so even if you get them ready for the primary, it's fine, but, I mean, they don't have to be until the general, but I, mean, I understand what you said, getting ahead of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's um, going to get, we're right. going to get busier and busier yeah. and, so, and months ahead. I got no problem with that. I mean, if they want to come, yeah. whoever. Yeah, voluntary, totally voluntary. Right. Yeah. We, we don't even have our poll workers for November yet. No, so we but we know who our poll managers are likely to be. Well, yeah. maybe, yeah. 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 We can push the button. Yeah, we can push the button. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, just my comments is just to thank all of y'all, especially Madison County, for y'all supporting me as long as I last as president of ECAM. I thank all of y'all. Now I'm just an individual just like the rest of everybody else here is now. Uh, I mean, I'm ex-officials. I still will be attending their meetings, but at the same time, I'm not in control. But thank y'all, Matt. That mean we My can't team. blame you anymore if things go wrong? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for blame your him. service, Leroy. Hey, and then for life, you're still Mr. President. So. Uh, and for life, you're still Mr. President <laughs> without the responsibility. It's the best. I like that. Best job. Oh, yeah, well, also, in the midst of all of this, I did announce to all of the 382 that was there that I have been selected to represent the state of Mississippi with the EAC Commission. Mr. Spence probably know what that is, Election Commission Assistant Commission, which is from Washington, D.C., which is that we help try to improve the way voting goes all across the United States. So uh, I'm a representative from the state of Mississippi. I'll be traveling to Washington probably twice a year. But other than that, we'll be doing everything from home. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Great. Yes. Cool. Hey, Honor for the state. Yes. Is there a makeup date yet for the EKM? Yes, I don't, I don't know what it is from Kyle. Somebody's going to probably have to call the Secretary of State because he did not put it out. But it's only like 38 of you all that's got to go. We had the majority, the biggest crowd we ever had. I, I think it's great, yeah, okay. I don't think but 38 uh, y'all have to go, but Kyle didn't announce when the dates are. Okay. So okay. Uh, I'm going to suggest you call the Secretary of State and find out. I will do that. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'll take that motion to come down out of this meeting to go into I move that we move into executive session. Seconded. Been motioned properly by Mr. Dan, seconded by uh, Commissioner Payne, that we now go into uh, executive session. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 